Well, good afternoon. I, I get to start it off today, and uh, it's, uh, it's interesting that we're here at the Boys and Girls Club. This is really where it all, all started. This has uh, been an important part of uh, my career, working here and with Dee and Freddie Solomon and, uh, of course, some of my staff, and you'll hear a little bit more about uh, them today. They, they have also uh, poured a, a, a lot of uh, a sweat equity into this place, and and uh, working in this community. And it's, it's one of the things that I'm, I'm personally uh, most proud of is the work that we did and big problems out there, but we, we started in this a little section right here and uh, a lot of people came together and I, I think it's, um, it, it's fitting that we're here today. And I'm, I'm gonna introduce the governor in a minute. I just wanna say a, a few words um, about the governor. I've, I've really gotten to know him over these last few words and uh, over the last few years, and I will tell you, he's a very principled leader. Uh, he's one of the most engaged people that I have ever met when it comes to public safety. Because if anything happens in Tampa, my phone is usually ringing with him before my guys call me, and I have to check back because if he sees something happening, he's calling and saying, "Hey, what's going on at Tampa International? Do we have a problem? Do we need resources? If there's a hurricane coming, a storm coming, he was on the phone." the day before saying, hey, are things lined up? Are we ready? What can we do for you in Tallahassee? Um, no matter how bad the weather was, he, w he was always in town and uh, has become a, a great friend and he's a great supporter of, of law enforcement and, uh, and the rule of law. And, and we've, we've appreciated him, Governor. I've, I've appreciated him. My, my troops have had great confidence in having you as the, the, the leader of the state of Florida. So. With that, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn this next portion over to you. As, as everyone knows, I, I'm going to retire here in about 30 days and kind of kind of looking forward to that, but I don't want to take away uh, 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 from uh, the governor and what he has to say today about the uh, future of the sheriff's office. So, uh, Governor Rick Scott. You know, what the sheriff said, he didn't know, a lot of people didn't know anything about me. That's pretty true. <laughs> Seven years ago when I ran, I don't think anybody knew me. So uh, it's been a great time uh, to be the governor and try to do everything we can to make this the best state to live in. The first thing I want to do is just uh, thank your sheriff. Um, you, you know, one of the, if you do this job, you really find out pretty fast the three most important things to a family. I've not met anybody that doesn't want to work. I've not met anybody that doesn't care about these children and their grandchildren's education. They care. And everybody wants to live in a safe community. If you think of everything that's had, all the good things that happened in our state, adding all the jobs, all the tourists, it's all because of our law enforcement. Nobody goes to dangerous places. You don't go on vacation to dangerous places. Nobody says, oh, I want to live in a dangerous neighborhood. And so your sheriff has devoted his whole life uh, to this community and to making sure this community stays safe. So I've, I've enjoyed the opportunity over the last uh, little over six and a half years uh, as governor to get to know uh, Sheriff G. And I can tell you, every time I've called him, he's engaged, he cares, um, and he, will, he always tells me if, he, if there's any, anybody needs anything any place else in, else in the state, he'll show up. So the first thing I want to do is I just want to thank you, Sheriff, and give him a big round of applause. And before we get to the next part, I just want to thank uh, Pam Bondi. Um, the, I've never been involved in law enforcement. My, I've, uh, I've been in business all my life. I, uh, fortunately, uh, Pam and I got elected together back in 2010. We campaigned together, and she's somebody that has been a great uh, uh, advisor and friend and confidant. Uh, on, you know, we do clemency cases together. We do a lot of things together, and she really cares to make sure this is a safe state. So thank you very much. You've sent somebody wonderful to, uh, to Tallahassee and uh, Senator Dana Young. She's somebody I've had the opportunity to work with since I got elected, and she works hard on your behalf every day. So thank you very much. <laughs> I want to recognize your mayor. We got elected about the same time, and we basically want to make sure our, you know, I've, I'm focused on the state. He's focused on the city. We want to make sure this is a place everybody can get a job, uh, and he's done a great job. So thank you very much. So this is a great opportunity for me. Um, you have the opportunity every so often to pick uh, somebody to take a, a very important position. And uh, while none of us want to see uh, Sheriff uh, 
G retire. Uh, this is a new opportunity. It's a new chapter for Hillsborough County. So I'm proud to appoint uh, Colonel Chad Cronister as Hillsborough County's new sheriff. We all know that Chad married well, uh, so, <laughs> but uh, he has 25 years as part of the sheriff's office. He's been rising through the ranks. He's proven himself to be a wonderful leader. He exemplifies the mission of the Hillsborough County uh, Sheriff's Office to serve, protect, and defend the community while preserving the rights and dignity of all. Um, he's, uh, we all know that somebody that's a great law enforcement uh, individual is also involved in the community. You can see that with all the time that uh, he's, he and his family has put into the Boys and Girls Clubs of Tampa. Uh, you can see it with these wonderful children here that are all gonna go on to be governor and president. Uh, I usually, when I come to events like this, the first thing I tell them is you ought to be the governor and you ought to be the president and I tell them why. And, uh, and I hope they all, I hope every child in the state has the belief that everything is possible and with great law enforcement and great leaders that happens. So please join me in congratulating uh, the new sheriff of Hillsborough County, Colonel Chad Cronister. Well, thank you, Governor Scott, and garnishing your appointment for sheriff, the office of sheriff for Hillsborough County is truly humbling uh, and a privilege. Um, thank you for allowing me to continue my passion for service by allowing me to serve in this capacity. Today is even more special because the appointment has been made by a governor that has done so much for law enforcement. So, Governor Scott, thank you. You have my word that the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office will continue your priority initiative for crime reduction and crime prevention. Reductions have occurred every year since you have been an officer. So thank you for all of your support. Attorney General Bondi, thank you for all your support. Thank you for your friendship, a friendship that goes back 26 years now, you as a young prosecutor, me as a rookie deputy trying to find my way around the courthouse. Uh, I am, I'm not only a friend, I'm a huge fan, a fan of all your accomplishments, everything that you've accomplished here in the Tampa Bay area, everything that you have accomplished for the state of Florida. So for all your support. And Sheriff G, it is truly an honor to follow in your footsteps. Thank you for all your support, your guidance, your mentoring, and all the years under your tutelage. Hillsborough County is a better place to live and a safer place to live because of you. And Rhonda, I, I only hope that Nikki and I can be as good of faithful, loyal servants to Hillsborough County as, as you and your husband have been. So thank you for everything that the both of you have done. Sheriff, thank you for all you have done for this agency. Thank you for everything you have done for this community. So thank you very much. And to our community, your Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office is here for you. Your Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office will work hard for you. We will not let you down. So thank you again to all our, our public leaders and officials, all our community partners, the Boys and Girls Club, my family. Thanks for taking the time to be here. And Governor Scott, thank you again for all your support. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, as the governor said, Governor, thank you. I've always known you're brilliant. Now the whole world knows you're brilliant by appointing Chad Cronister as sheriff. Thank you, Governor. Um, and David and Rhonda, thank you for your friendship. Thank you for everything you've done for our community. As a career prosecutor, um, we all know and love you and everything that you've done. And Chad, you know you have big shoes to fill, but you're going to fill them, and especially with Nikki by your side. Um, you're going to be a great sheriff and all of our great men and women in law enforcement. Thank you. We love you all and care about so much what you do for all of us every day. Thank you. Well, this is, this is a wonderful day. So I want to thank everybody for being here. And I know uh, uh, Chad's going to do a great job. So congratulations to everybody. Thanks, everybody, for being here. <laughs>